Hello and welcome to Coastal Cuisine. Today we're going to be eating our way around the Mardi Gras event. We're going to be trying four different foods that are unique to Alton Towers Mardi Gras. And I'm really excited to do this one. It's going to be a bit expensive, but at the minute it looks like a great event. The first time Alton Towers have ever done it and they've got such a unique um, food lineup. So let's get into it. Wow. So it's not that big for £11.15, but it is actually really nice. Like the last time I tried pizza like this was when I was in New York. Wow. That's really nice. They don't do Merlin or staff discount, but it's really nice. It's got all the different cheeses on it and the proportion of cheese to tomato is really good. The bread is really nice. A bit of too much charcoal on the bottom, but all round it is really, really nice. I just want to make love to you. So next up then, we are at the Chinese and we've got these spring rolls. Uh, these were three pounds and you get four of them and they're a decent size. Let's try the first one. Wow. That's actually really good. No, I'm not the biggest fan of spring rolls, but the flavor in it is really nice. We've got loads of different vegetables in there, like carrots, um, uh, butter chestnuts and bamboo shoots and stuff like that. The phyllo pastry is really, really nice. And um, yeah, I'd recommend these quite high. The Chinese is a bit expensive and this is like one of the cheapest options, but it's really, really nice. I'll probably rate them about like a six out of 10, but on to the next one. We've got the Yorkshire pudding wrap. Uh, this was nine pounds for one beef, but you can have it with meat. That uh, is a bit more for meat. Now beef, turkey, pork, uh, toad in the hole, or you can have pigs in blankets, which I think is really, really good. So inside I had beef. Um, roast potatoes and veg and gravy you can also have loads of different sauces and you can have stuffing which is good that's really nice that is honestly one of the nicest things I've had for a long time definitely 10 out of 10 but finally let's go on to the next one Finally, we've got the one I'm most looking forward to, a Mardi Gras King cake, which is a traditional Mardi Gras cake that's cinnamon. It's like a cinnamon swirl. And as you can see here, we've got the gold, green, and purple, which are traditional Mardi Gras colors. And then by the look of it, they've used Jelly Babies. It's like a Mardi Gras float on the top. Let's try it. got like the texture of a dome. It's really nice. <laughs> I'll show you the whole thing with this. Um, I have liked all the food today. But this one, oh, between this one and the Yorkshire pudding wrap. Mmm. That's really nice. 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay. 
So it appears that cameraman Jake also likes the Mardi Gras cake. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this Mardi Gras food challenge. It's been expensive, but it's been worth it. The food is really, really nice. And definitely come down to Mardi Gras and try some of the food. I definitely recommend the King Cake. That was absolutely incredible. They did like a Lotus Biscuit, Oreo, loads of different ones. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you did like it, make sure to subscribe. Once you subscribe, make sure you click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. And we'll see you in the next one. That's a wrap.